What's up guys? We're back and tonight we're going to be making a shake that we make every single night. Uh, we're going to be using chocolate peanut butter PB Fit, sugar-free Hershey's chocolate syrup, select protein powder, chocolate cupcake flavor, and most importantly, sand oil. I'll have this linked in the description for anyone that's like, oh my god, Xanthan gum. I've never heard of that. Well, it's linked right below, so click that. It's going to take you to Amazon, and you're going to pick this up. So let's get right into this. You can use your nut milks. I like a good nut every now and then, but I'm going to use water just because whatever. You can use water. So we're starting this off. Look, at we got ourselves a scale. If you don't got one of these, if you don't got one of these... You're gonna need one. This is a Ninja Blender. If you don't have a Ninja Blender, I'm also gonna link that in the description below. Get yourself a Ninja Blender because this is not gonna work the same way. I put my Ninja Blender on the scale. I tar it out. I'm gonna bring it right over here. And I wanna aim for 50 to 60 grams of liquid. So I have 53. Now we're gonna tar her out. Hershey's sugar-free syrup. We're gonna go 60 grams of this. 56, like that's fine. It doesn't gotta be perfect. Two grams, no more. Don't do it to yourself, you need two grams. Tar it out on here again, just like this. And I kinda give her a little dash until I see. Two, that's all you need. I'm gonna put my PB Fit on here and tar that out 17 grams and i'm looking for a negative number so we'll go in here just like this i usually kind of just tap it out 17 grams throw that right in that's one serving of that now with the protein i've used straight casein i've used isolate and i find that this is the best protein to use it's a whey casein blend. So Pea Science, they make great protein flavors. Obviously use any kind of protein you want. I find it the best with the whey casein blend. And I've done this a lot. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get a serving out of that. 31 grams, just like that. Same thing. I put the Ninja Blender on there, tar it out. Well, we're about to give you guys the exact measurement. I always fill this up and then just a little bit more over the top. Just a little. I always just a little bit more over the top. Generally like that. So 514 grams. <laughs> so generally. 500 grams to 550 grams, whatever. We're gonna go tap this on our Ninja and blend it on high. So generally when it's looking like this, I come in and I scrape it down and I always pop the air out the side, this little pocket and then release the blender. And I'm gonna come in here so you guys can really see. And just push the ice down the sides. I mean, it's as simple as that. And then I'm gonna pop the side, get the air out, and come in and scrape her down again. We'll come in with one more scrape down, and sometimes you'll see on the sides that some of the powder is stuck. That happens. And I'm gonna take my spoon, wipe that off the sides of the blender. That's flavor. It needs to get all up in there. And that is what we're looking for. Come in here. This is like almost muscle memory at this point, how many times I've scraped this off this blade. So I kind of just Get as much off as I can. This is all just straight protein. Don't lick the blade either. I've, I've done that before. Thinking, oh, I want to get it all. 
It's not worth it. Just make a whole nother blender. And when it's done, this is what you're looking for. Just like that. So this is about six cups. So I've blended it for longer to make the xanthan gum really expand it. And you could expand this to eight cups if you wanted to, but to me, that's too airy. It's not really the consistency I like. And my girlfriend will literally hate me because you're just gonna be shitting yourself. This speaks for itself. One, two, three, four. You don't get nothing that comes out. This is the consistency you want. It's literally, it's, it's in there, okay? So let's go ahead and sit down and see what it is. Okay. Again, okay, so I made one of these videos on here before and I was just starting to make that shake then. This was before Coach Greg even released the uh, shake at all that changed the game. And obviously because of him, shout out the doctor, these shakes had just blown up everywhere. And I eat this every night, Look, I mean, I eat this every night. And we're about to get this taste test going and talk about, just, I don't know, what we need. let's just get into it, cause I want this. What? What? <laughs> How'd you do that? I did it. Anyways. Just chocolatey, it just tastes like a Reese's Blizzard. So if you want this a chocolate banana, Throw a banana in there. You can throw anything you want in here. If it's gonna fit your calorie intake for the day, throw it in this damn blender. Now we're gonna get a first hand take of someone that My eats, review. eats blizzards and doesn't like eat it this at all. When he first started making it, he would add a lot more ice to where it was filled like all the way to the top. And I think he liked it because it filled him more but ultimately it was the same amount of ingredients, but more ice. So the more ice made it taste more bland. I thought it just kind of tasted like water. Water down. Just didn't really taste like a frosty, like he, how he said or anything, you know, but he didn't use sugar in anything. He didn't use sweeteners. So this was the closest thing to the sweet that he thought, but to someone else that doesn't eat that, it doesn't taste like anything, <laughs> but now, as he's been making it every day and trying different protein powders, different flavors, all that stuff, he's been getting better at it, obviously. And as you can see, he only makes it to where it's halfway. So the same amount of ingredients, but less ice. So he still gets enough to make him feel satiated, is his favorite yeah, word. that's the word. Uh, he still gets enough product. He gets enough to fill him and he's satisfied with it. But it tastes better because it's not as watered down. It's not as bland. Um, I like it because I, I mean, I just tried it the other day just for the heck of it. Um, but it tastes, what, what made me like it was because it tasted a lot like actual peanut butter, but Reese's peanut butter, not just regular peanut butter. And obviously who doesn't like Reese's? So, I mean, that's why I wanted to try it, you know, but, um, I think this is like a new and improved video on this shake, how to make it, uh, what happens if it looks like it's not blending, um, and therefore he went in and scraping it and stuff, and ultimately when you first press that start button, it doesn't look like it's moving at all, but just give it a couple minutes, keep working at it, and obviously it blends, you That's know. straight ice cream, yo. Obviously it does, so... Just practice makes perfect, people. You're not gonna get it on your first time. He didn't, you know? Yeah. What he thought tasted good is not compared to this at all. This is like, actually good. You could probably actually settle this for like a 99 cent Frosty from Wendy's. Oh yeah. You know? So, I mean, it's good. It's good.
and that too with the farts the more ice i mean the more you let it blend the more airy it is the more air going inside your stomach it's just like burping or something you know swallowing air it's got to come out and they do not smell good they don't smell bad they just don't smell good don't take that chance and find out so that's that this tastes incredible so easy to make like i said you don't have this blender buy this blender game changer blender and protein ice cream shake version two new and improved yeah many people asked for it for a new version a more recent one um updated version so you guys have all the measurements there you have it all the measurements you're welcome <laughs> extremely easy take this and make it your own so i just did three ingredients it doesn't take that long you've seen it took like maybe like five minutes to yep. a couple spoonfuls of stuff and let it blend for three minutes and then boom you have a shake in five minutes that's good and essentially fills you as always with every video you know we post the macros after the video is over so you guys can see the numbers for yourselves um until then, we'll see you on the next Cooking with Thomas episode. We out.